Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I am going to be revisiting my Megacrania Batesii, they're the peppermint stick insects that I haven't featured in quite a while, and to say that they have been breeding prolifically is to put it very mildly. So, here is their enclosure, and I think as you should be able to quite clearly see, there is a rather substantial quantity of insects in here. And what I'm going to be doing today is giving the enclosure a clean because the bottom of the enclosure is more full of shit than most of the videos that I react to. But in order to do that, I'm first going to have to remove most and possibly all of the insects from this uh, setup. I've got this spare mesh enclosure here, it's completely empty, and my plan is to shift the insects into here which will of course free free up uh, free up this enclosure for cleaning. And it seems might as well just get started now. So right here we have an adult male. Males are quite a bit smaller than the females and their wings are proportionally somewhat larger, although they still can't fly. Got a female here. She's still got wing buds. See how the wings aren't uh, fully developed yet? So she's not adult at the moment and I'd say looking at her she's probably got one, maybe two more molts till adulthood. But there are a few adult females in here, and uh, I'll be showing you one of those soon enough. Here's one of them. You can see the wings here, they're not just little buds anymore, they're actually... Uh, I don't really want to call them functional, because they aren't really functional, they're completely flightless. But they are fully developed, and seriously, what is the point of these wings? It's, it's like funnel-web spiders having eight eyes and being blind. All right, we go- oh, you're- oh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt that. You're getting busy. Sorry. Oh, yeah, you're really getting in there, aren't you? Wow. Well, yeah, you two, um, you guys have fun together. Sorry to interrupt. Oh, got a big old cluster at the back there. That's going to be fun to move. Quite a sizable adult female here. I think this is one of the larger ones in the enclosure. And uh, come on, move along. And I deliberately waited for most of these stick insects to get bigger before I did the enclosure cleaning because when they were still really small and fragile, there'd be a very real risk of damaging them or maybe even just completely crushing them whenever I have to move them around. So I'd rather do this now that most of them have grown and oh, st oh st stay on camera please now that most of them have grown and they're nowhere near as delicate and also stay in focus. Wow. And get get off the oh, <laughs> Why do you guys like my camera so much? Go on. Get off. No, 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 you go in, in. In, no, 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 in. There we go. And I think I'm probably just gonna get this. Oh, wow, they eat so much. I literally put in fresh leaves yesterday and, ah, oh, I'd say like half of it is gone. Man, yeah, I really need to start selling some of these because much as I love these insects, this is too much. What are you three doing? These ones, I'm just going to let them stay there. I'm not going to bother getting them off, and they don't seem all that keen on moving around either, so no real dramas. But the rest of them in here, well, uh, yeah, that is a different story. Female, and she looks like she's missing a leg, but when you're an insect, that is not a big deal.
Okay, so change of plan. I'm probably not going to bother removing the ones that are close to the top of the enclosure, because they're going to be relatively out of the way for the cleaning anyway. But the ones at the bottom, yeah, they're gonna go. Oi, mate, what are you doing with her? She's not even mature yet. Ah, uh, I'm in to each their own. No, 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 no. Okay. Oh, oh, aren't you a chunky one? Another big female with a body like a sausage. Yeah, I'm sure we've all seen greenish blue segmented sausages. Yeah, that was that was definitely a great comparison. What are you doing? Are you dancing? <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Right, well, pop on, pop on in. You can dance with all your friends in there. Hi, guys. Honestly, I think that'll do, so now I'm just going to take it out and empty it. Not going to bother filming it, because let's face it, it's not going to be very exciting. And I'll see you again very soon. Well, I am done, and for once I can actually see the bottom of the enclosure. And there's a very considerable reason that I did this cleanup, apart from the fact that otherwise uh, it'd be a complete and utter mess. Some of these stick insects are getting to the point where they're going to be laying eggs very soon. And when that happens, I don't want to have to be sifting through 10 centimeters of shit to find the eggs. This female here is really quite chunky. You can see that abdomen there. Very, very thick, and that is a clear sign that she is due to lay eggs really soon. So I wanted to get that cleaning job done sooner rather than later, and admittedly it was quite a daunting prospect. But anyway, I'll let her back on her plant. There you go. Oh, what some sort of commotion in there. Ah, you guys have fun. Now, for all the ones that I moved into this container, and come to think of it, it might have just been smarter to shoo them all to the top of the enclosure. But then again, I wouldn't have had quite as much of a chance to get these guys out and show them to you. And oh my god, you two are- She is too young for you. Can't you just wait a while or go for one of the other mature females? Jesus, mate. I got half a mind to call the police. Alright, I think I'm going to be returning these stick insects to their enclosure off camera because you guys have already seen them all before and I don't want this video to drag on for too long. But there is something else that I would like to show you and I think it does deserve a feature in this video. In here is a rather cool Katie did called Ostrosalamona Destructor which is the destructive Katie did, not exactly the nicest name because it's quite a cute insect but still. There we are. Now you may recognize this Katie did from, uh, from two places, one Monster Bug Wars, and also from my last uh, feeding compilation. And in that video the Katie did was pre-molt, so getting ready to molt, and it wasn't in the mood to eat. But now, as you can see by those fully developed wings, the Katie did is an adult and it's not going to be molting anymore and should therefore be perfectly willing to feed. But my oh my, the, the green coloration, it was already really vibrant before, but now that it's hit adulthood, the green coloration is just so vivid. And I'm also <laughs> going to put him back now, one because I'm going to feed him, and two because Katie dids, especially omnivorous or predatory species like this one, are very, very prone to chewing on things, and that includes my fingers. And these katydids have some pretty formidable mandibles, so I'd rather not have him uh, test if I'm edible. So come on, head back in. You are a pain in the ass. You're a very pretty pain in the ass, but you're still a pain in the ass. Get back in. 
And now for the feeding, or at least part of it, because me, being the genius that I am, had the camera pointing in the wrong direction when I first offered the food to the Katie did. So there we go, you're not going to see the initial takedown, but you are going to be able to watch it stuffing its face like a pig. As I said before, Ostrosalomona are very generalistic feeders, which means they'll take a very wide variety of food items. And I feed mine a combination of fruits, nuts, and in this case, a dead or dying cockroach. And those powerful mandibles make short work of pretty much anything you offer them. That is the end of this video. If you enjoyed, feel free to check out some of my other uploads. Don't forget to subscribe and let me know what you thought in the comments section below. Thank you very much for watching. That is it from me and I'll see you again very soon.